Hi, Narches here. Let's take a look inside a drilled well using a GoPro action camera and test if it holds up all the way to the end. For this test, I'll be using the GoPro Hero 8 camera along with a protective housing, a Sunto D4 professional freediving watch and a SIAC T5 torch, both certified to withstand up to 100 meters or 328 feet depth. A metal frame made by me specifically for this experiment, a water resistant tape and a textile fishing line. For this test, I bought standard protective housing, which is certified up to 60 meters or 197 feet depth. Let's see if it will be able to protect the camera more than that and exceed this limit. I will attach the camera to the top of the frame and then the dive watch to the bottom. I temporarily tie the camera to the frame with a wire until I secure it with the tape. I will attach the flashlight to one of the pillars of the frame using water resistant tape. I use three pepper clips to form a triple hook for strength and stability to which I will tie the wire as the metal frame has the base made of sharp mesh that would cut the wire. I secure the camera to the frame with duct tape and make sure it is securely tied. That's pretty much what came out. I do a test of the flashlight to see if the watch screen is properly lit and if the GoPro video can be properly seen from the inside of the frame. Then I tie the frame with the textile wire through the three clips. And this is how the whole assembly looks like when it's finally finished before the dive starts. Out of curiosity, I measured the dimensions of the frame and it has almost 600 grams or 1.3 pounds and about 30 centimeters or 1 foot long. I turn on the flashlight and start the journey into the wellbore with the made assembly to see what awaits me in the unknown. This is my first time seeing the inside of a well and I'm excited about both what I'm about to see and the challenge of how deep the GoPro Hero 8 camera will withstand using the standard underwater housing, certified for 60 meters. I will speed up the video to save time. In the background, we can hear the noise generated by the metal frame rubbing against the walls of the well pipe, but I've lowered the level so it won't be annoying. This well is made of blue R10 type pipes, each of them 5 meters long, which means that at each joint you can see, the frame has descended another 5 meters or 16 feet. Condensation can be seen on the walls in the form of water drips. After traveling 37 meters or 121 feet, I reached the surface of the water. When it reaches 1.2 meters or 4 feet, the watch automatically goes into dive mode and starts measuring the dive time displayed in the center with the largest characters, as well as the depth at the top and the water temperature at the bottom right and the hour and minutes are displayed at the bottom left. The descent continues with increased clip speed. During this time, I stand on top and release the fabric thread slowly and already I cannot longer see the light generated by the torch. I now realize that although I tested the visibility on land when mounting the assembly by matching the flashlight and the watch as best as I could, still the different conditions of the experiment, the light, the reflections and the slightest movement of the watch from its original position altered the visibility. So it came to the point where the upper part of the screen showing the depth went into a shadow. But now I've already started the experiment and I can only hope that we can see to the end the depth which the camera will reach. You can see that as the depth increases, the water temperature has stabilized at 12 degrees. Off topic, if you ever drill a well or fountain, I recommend you to choose the reverse circulation system as much as possible and use only dedicated companies that can accomplish this in a professional manner.
to limit the contamination of the aquifers. Even if the price will be a little higher, it is necessary to think about both the nature and the well you are drilling so that it will have a longer service life. And at the end, don't forget to clean it until it is crystal clear and then chlorinate it with chlorine-based tablets to kill the initial bacteria contamination and seal it carefully until it is used in order to protect it from any things, insects or animals that may fall in and infect it. Be aware that these things not only affect the well itself but can also contaminate the groundwater aquifer at the depth of the well over a larger area. We have reached the 60 meters or 197 feet threshold. So far so good, let's see what happens next. I have reached the level of the well filters and I can see that the water is crystalline here with good visibility which is great for the experiment. Now we can see clearly the reached depth. Oops, I encountered a bottleneck. I hope to overcome it. I managed to get past it. There is little time left to the bottom. And now I have finally reached the maximum depth of this well, 125 meters or 410 feet in total, of which 86 meters or 281 feet water depth with GoPro Hero 8 action camera and basic housing. The experiment managed to reach the end to the maximum depth of the well. After recovering the frame, I took a picture of the watch to have a better view of the maximum depth reached. Let's see now in what condition the housing and the camera are in. Everything seems fine with no visible problems on the housing. Let's see the GoPro Hero 8 camera up close. Everything looks good. But here we can see a mark on the camera. Probably the high pressure from that depth made the outer housing press on the camera. I will turn it on to see if it works. Yes, it turns on and afterwards I downloaded the recordings of this experiment and the camera works perfectly. This is the end. If you like it, you can help me by subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Thanks for watching.